These are senior five students at Bukonde Secondary School in Bale City studying under a tent due to shortage of classrooms. With a student population of 1,270, the school has only three classrooms. Seven are in disrepair and they need 18 more. They have lasted for over 20 years and actually they have never been completed up to now and given the time in which they have, they have lasted it means they have again lost uh, their uh, original shape. Some of the classes are conducted in tents donated by UNICEF. During dry season they are always affected by too much heat uh, because these tents absorb heat that, is, that actually affects the learners. Rainy season when there is a storm, it actually affects. Other students endure harsher conditions. NTV has published many reports about schools across the country with broken buildings, some badly cracked and in need of renovation. Some schools make do with makeshift classrooms, barely a meter apart, which results in interference from neighboring classes. In others, classes are conducted under trees and when it rains, the lesson stops. For long, many head teachers have been hoping for a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, the Local Government Finance Commission has directed chief administrative officers to submit the particulars of schools with dilapidated or temporary structures. So that we can, in the course of our duty, as enshrined by the Constitution, bring it to the fore during this budget making process and advise the president on how money should some money should be allocated to alleviate this situation these submissions should include location and establishment here among other things the number of people studying in such structures pictorial evidence of such structures some are so shameful that i think even the president will we we'll want to do something about them immediately. Uh, cows throughout the country know where the local government finance commission is located. There can be a physical dispatch of this information. You print the pictures, you write down what is required of you, and you deliver. Musumba says the Local Government Finance Commission advises the President on all matters concerning the distribution of revenue between the central government and local governments and the financial allocation to each local government out of the consolidated fund. James Kutosi, the senior communication officer from Bale City, revealed that the Education Department is carrying out an assessment of 140 schools here. About 40 structures have been covered. Among them, the, 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 the status they are looking at, about uh, seven of these schools are affected. This is a report right now, the team is in the field, they are looking at it, and they are going to forward the report to the commission. The challenges some of these schools face go beyond dilapidated structures, as they do not have essential resources like laboratories and an adequate number of teachers. Nobat, Atkunda, NTV, tonight.